Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on March 17th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you all for joining me today. This has been a long time since my last upload. Um, I'll explain more in a live stream later. Uh, but today, I just wanted to give you guys my most recent update. March 17th. 2018 St. Patrick's Day happy St. Patty's Day everybody go out there and enjoy a green beer for me as I don't drink and please stay safe don't drink and drive today and enjoy your St. Patty's Day adventures again thanks for watching today uh, we're overlooking North America right now you can see cold temps still sticking around towards the end of the week A lot of snow in the Saharas or Sierra Nevada. They're looking at five feet of snow over the next five days. Another large low pressure system heading towards California coastline. And the last nor'easter turned out to not be as bad as the last two. Um, those, we had three large nor'easters over the past two weeks that I have not uploaded. It would have been a, a repeating broken record of me uploading large nor'easter day after day. Almost every other day there was a large nor'easter coming across. Look, overlooking Europe, we've still got a lot of cold temps as well, dipping straight down into Spain. The next five days... Tropical cyclone here, heading out of Madagascar over the next couple days. And also tropical cyclone Marcus, heading off of land and into the Indian Ocean. Watching this large developing low in Southern Hemisphere as well. Reoccurring process under the Australian continent. This is our South Pole. And North Pole. You can see here we've got one two, three, four, very large lows, dominant, prominent, spinning around our North Pole. So we've still got another four days here left of winter. And it shows in Canada, definitely. Here in Calgary, we just had um, a 15 centimeter snowfall. And we have now, the city of Calgary has now surpassed their snow plowing budget for winter 2018. Snowfall totals across Canada and across the United States. Broken records. And I've been warning everybody of this. This was gonna be a very intense winter, a very strange winter, and indeed, it has become that. I'm just gonna give a quick look here over at the earthquakes. And here we are, this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. And you, yeah, there's a lot of small tremors popping up all over the place. Nothing major. Um, largest earthquake was, mm, let's see here, the 5.6 Scotia Plate Line, New Caledonia, and the 5.5. Couple very deep earthquakes here. Most recent was this 4.8, and let's see exactly where it is. Cali, Indonesia. 
547 kilometer depth. Wow, that's deep. So expect a large shallow earthquake over the next little, over the next six to eight hours. As we had those two very deep thrusts in the Tonga region and also in Indonesia. Yesterday we had an earthquake. Port Hardy, 4.0, Vancouver. So that's it for earthquakes over the last four or eight, or sorry, the last 24 hours. And let's just get a uh, last seven days for earthquakes. And it's been pretty quiet over the last couple of days, actually. Um, the seven days prior to that was very busy. Uh, we had aftershock after aftershock in Papua New Guinea. They're still going off here. But there were hundreds after the large 7.5 Papua New Guinea two weeks ago. So this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes, folks. Stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to your local media sites because, you know, they are getting better. And they're starting to report more and more of these natural disasters in regards to the cold extremes, winter extremes, and also earthquakes. Especially talks of the grand solar minimum in the mainstream media. Mini Ice Age, mainstream media. I think people are really starting to wake up and look up and uh, mainstream media is starting to report it, which is fantastic. You know what else is fantastic? All of my subscribers. I wanna thank you for watching. You guys have been great supporters since the beginning of time. And it's been almost a year now. Coming up in three days, it'll be my one year anniversary. So I have a big heart and love for all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Please join me in a live stream later and I will be explaining to all of my, my fans, my friends and family as to exactly why I have not uploaded in two weeks. So, again, thanks for watching today. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye.